Um, hi, we are By the Rivers on the beat, and this first song is called Vulture. <laughs> The vulture we swoop, burn and loot all the long day. The vulture we swoop, burn and loot. Na na na. The vulture we swoop, burn and loot all the long day. The vulture we swoop, burn and loot. Na na na. With this man's a real lonely one. No fear for any living man. With just a need to destroy and steal what he can. We've been following you for a little while now, and every time I see you, you just seem to ratchet it up to the next level. The sound is superb, the songwriting always first class. Where do you feel in the evolution of By the Rivers at the moment? Do you feel as though you're riding on the crest of a wave? Yeah, I think things are going well at the minute, and like I think you know because we've been working on the album and everything, we're just the more we're playing, the more tighter we're getting. I think we're getting. I don't know, used to playing with each other more, and so, yeah, it's getting there. The lyrics are very clever. I mean, uh, we listen to Vulture, and every time I listen to it, even now, I discover new layers of lyrics and new hidden meanings in there as well. Is that something that's important to you when you're writing songs, that you, you work in a bit of politics as well as, you know, the, the, the more overt message? Yeah, definitely. We've always been a fan of writing lyrics that mean something. Um, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, this whole album, I think we've we've kind of tried to bring that across and... Quite a lot of the songs we've, you know, we want to write about something that's meaningful and that everyone can relate to. Uh, this track is called Run Home. Snowy thunder, oh, what you want to see you through? Little boy wonder, I stole your thunder. Little boy wonder, I saw your thunder, oh, you 
Now, the last time I saw you was round about Christmas time, and you were talking about the album then and, and teasing me about which tracks might be on there and so on. It is about to drop now. Um, how are your feelings about this? What are your emotions just ahead of the album release? Just really so, excited, I think. Yeah. Like you say, it's been a while in... in been a long time coming. Yeah, mm. and um, just to have it now, actually have a copy of the the CD and uh, know that it's going to be released and everyone's going to be hearing it, we're just mad excited about getting it out there. Now, you started really in Leicester, of course, and you've spread out... The whole thing's been rippling out ever since, hasn't it? you spread across the UK and now into Europe as well. How are you greeted when you go and perform in Europe? Yeah, pretty well. It seems to yeah. go down well there. I mean, we've done... A couple of like mini tours. Me and George went out and um, did acoustic stuff, supporting the slackers out there, and that was great. I think back in a ska band anyway, you got that kind of audience. Um, but then we went out and did our own tour, didn't we? And uh, yeah. yeah, again, it went down really well. Um, and we yeah, we're just yeah. building and trying to go back as much as we can. Really. Yeah, yeah European crowds are really good. They're really, really like, open to like all sorts of music and really, really enthusiastic about really enthusiastic <laughs> about any sort of English band. Or, yeah, you know, as soon as they know you're English, like you'll be talking to them for hours afterwards about English bands, and they just sort of love you. So it's really mm. cool. This track is called "This Love." Jordan me. 